Breaking right now off the top here at six o'clock crowds growing at Chicago's Federal Plaza reaction to the Supreme Court ruling that overturns the nearly 50 year old case protecting a woman's right to have an abortion. It took almost 50 years, but we never gave up. Anti-abortion rights activists also making their voices heard, promising to continue the fight for change here in Illinois. Whether you support the Supreme Court's decision or not, it certainly has been an emotionally charged day. No doubt about that. While Governor Pritzker is promising to preserve women's reproductive rights in Oregon, we are quickly seeing a domino of changes in surrounding states. Tonight, our team of reporters covering reaction across our area, starting with CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey, live in Federal Plaza. Right, we're live in Federal Plaza where this group is gathering. The crowd is gathering. We're pushed all the way to the sidewalk here, even some spillover to the other side of the street. Now, this is a rally against the Supreme Court's decision. It started technically at 5.30, but it continues still. Now, many people are telling me the blow today was softened a bit by that leaked opinion back in May. Many people were bracing for this, but still, it's a very emotional day, as you can see, for Chicagoans on both sides of this issue, really. I spoke with one of the organizers of this rally who said the rally was actually in the works before the decision became official this morning. She said she hopes the decision motivates Illinois residents to head to the polls on Tuesday. Organizers explain this is actually several pro-abortion groups from the Chicago area, from across Illinois, coming together. And there are more rallies planned for this weekend. We know of two, at least two tomorrow, one at noon, another at 5 p.m. And both of those start right here at Federal Plaza. All right, Megan, thank you very much.